Hey everyone, my name is Chase Dixon. I'm here with Everglades Equipment. I work with our Precision Solutions Department. And today we're here with the John Deere Model Year 25 Scene Spray Unit. We're gonna do a little walk around and kind of show you what's going on with it. All right, so like I said, we've got the Scene Spray Unit on here. And for those of you that don't know, basically what it is is a spot spraying type system that John Deere uses and it can be used in three different crops, whether it be corn, soybeans, cotton, and also in a fallow field production. Obviously here in Florida, we pretty much only have corn, so that's why we're here today. What it's doing is any type of small weed in the field, we're gonna spray that and not spray the corn. So with the seed and spray unit, basically we have to be limited to a new, a model year 18 or newer sprayer with either a 120 foot boom or a 100 foot boom now recently. For the model year 25 seed and spray, you have to have a Gen 5 command center in it and boom track 2.0. So we're here, we're gonna show you a little bit of the parts and components that kind of come along with the sea and spray. So if you look up underneath the camera here, we have 36 different cameras across our boom. And what these are doing is differentiating between your crop and the weed in the field. We have our boom track sensors underneath here and we have a total of five across the whole boom. And what this is doing is auto leveling as you're cruising through the field. So if you have a rut or elevation difference, it auto adjusts your boom one way or the other to keep you as even spray canopy across. And then we have our nozzle turrets that are spaced at 20 inches apart. And with the sea and spray, we like to spray out of the back turret to allow for the proper spacing as we're traveling through the field. If we get into the maintenance side of this aspect, it's actually very simple. It's not much more elaborate than any other sprayer technically. Um, what we want to do is make sure that we keep our camera lenses clean so that we don't have any dust or water on there at, at all times. Um, obviously with any sprayer, we want to make sure that our nozzles and our filters are clean and then our main filters on the back. And basically within the cab, if we have an issue, it's gonna let you know, hey, you need to stop. And from there we can get out and check properly and have our proper PPE on if we need in that case. So as I spoke about with the nozzle turrets, um, Deer now has where you can manually twist and have separate different nozzle tips on there depending on what application you're doing or what crop or anything of that event. So say one day you need to spray this chemical in this crop we can have this certain nozzle tip. All we have to do is get out, twist them around, and we're good to go. So as we continue our walk around here in the sprayer, we've made our way to the back. As you can see with the scene spray unit, we have four additional VPUs. And what these are doing is doing the, the learning process of it. It is differentiating between your crop and your weeds. If you look at them, I know as I would a lot of farmers whatnot, you might be wondering why we don't have a cover over this to keep water or dirt off of it. But John Deere specifically designed it to be this way open so that it has air cooled, it keeps them cool, your units don't overheat, and they're designed to be waterproof, dirt proof. Um, a lot of research and time went into this. Also, we have our backup camera right here, so it allows us to see when we're in reverse. Common theme through John Deere sprayers. We've got our three filter units here, so if we have any issues, we can always pull these apart and help clean the system to ensure that we always have a good flow to all of our nozzles. As we come over here to our fill site, we can see we have an 800 gallon tank on this sprayer. This sprayer is also fitted with direct inject system, which is a unique uh, characteristic of some sprayers because a lot of them don't have it around this area, which is, we find it pretty cool. We've got all of our fill controls and pump solutions here, and we've got our load hopper to where we can load chemical and cleaner in through this area instead of climbing up and doing it from the top. So as we take a closer look at our load hopper here, we can let it down, just pull the lever. And um, if we take a look inside, we can see that it's just a pressurized system. This helps eliminate any contact, unnecessary contact with harmful chemicals and things of that nature. Just another beneficial aspect John Deere sprayers have on them now. So what we would do is we can load it in here. We'll load our chemical into here. We can close the lid, flip our switches, and it'll suck it, pull it up into the tank. So as we enter the cab here, of this 4.8 sprayer, you can see that we've got our new Gen 5 command center in here. We'll go ahead and power it up so we can start going through some of the functions on it. So now that we're into the the cab, so now that we're in the cab here, we can look at our home screen on our command center. We can look onto our spray map here and kind of see the rate coverage here, which we're kind of overlapped here because we drove over this area a couple of times here during the demonstration. But we can toggle through as you know, we look at our weed pressure where you know it shows a differentiation. Go through our product application of where we covered, our coverage map, 
and our pressure map so we can see if we dropped pressure or over applied anywhere and then back to our initial rate page um, as we look in here we can come into our settings of our gallons per acre we see we have our scene spray set at 20 gallons an acre if we wanted to adjust that all we have to do is just you know type in say 15 gallons an acre and we're good to go um, if we were to scene spray or broadcast spray we could toggle right here as right now we're set on scene spray but if I just press it we're back to the broadcast method so if we get in an area of the field where hey you're either putting out a pre-emergent or something and you want to do a full broadcast all we have to do is toggle and we don't have to switch anything else that is it. So we're back to scene spray now. And like I said, it's fairly simple within the cab. There's it's not too elaborate, not too hard, and just another cool feature that John Deere has available now. So as we wrap this up, you can see that we close the booms up here. And I uh, just wanted to kind of go over some stuff with who's out there and who this might benefit going forward in the future. If you're a grower out there with a corn crop in South Florida or fallow fields and you're looking to reduce your chemical usages drastically in a herbicide application. I think you should strongly look at this, especially if you're running deer products, which are obviously the best. We think this could be a great benefit for you and your operation going forward, whether it be data capturing and be able to go back and look at your application rates or overall just reducing your, your outputs and chemical costs and covering more acres at a faster rate with less tendering stops. So we appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be glad to help you and go over some of the stuff with you.